All right, and we are back. So if you are just joining for the previous stream, or if you're just jumping in, I am Frosty, and we are going to be continuing tonight's stream with Spirit Fair. This is day eight of Spirit Fair. So last time we were playing Spirit Fair, we said goodbye to another spirit, and looks like. We are on our way out here. We've already been presented with the endgame option. We've already been given the warning that if we proceed to a certain area that we will be passing the point of no return. And so I've got some exp exploration to do. I've got some side quests, some uh, duty there. And so I'm going to be taking care of that because I want to at least get the majority of the game completed before I bail out. So I've got to find Buck's role-playing group. We're going to go camping in a Cadillac with Bruce and Mickey. We need to find the dash ability, which is probably going to be in the area that I haven't explored yet. And then that's going to be our end game. Got a couple upgrades, but all that's going to do is increase the size of the boat and increase our top speed. I already have all the blueprint upgrades that I can get, and so there's nothing further that I can do there. I don't really need to go back to Albert at this point, honestly. I don't have any shenanigans. Those are basically my side quests, so... First thing I'm going to do is we're going to go up to the northeast and start exploring that area to see which of these two quests we can find first. All right. And what is going to be our fastest fast travel point to that area? Probably here. Absolutely. Okay. So that was where I will be going. We've got all of this up here that we haven't even touched yet. I swear this windmill is going to be the bane of my existence. It never wants... Oh, and it just started by itself. All right. And here we are. We arrived in Grey Mist Peaks. That is quite the location. There's going to be a lot of jumping here that I probably can't get to. We shall see. And here come these two. Bruce. Bruce is his name. I can remember for the life of me. How many obols do I have? I think I only have. Oh, I have three. Now that's interesting. That suggests that I might have more than one skill still available to me. Because it usually only costs two obols to acquire a skill. What's up, guys? Would you look at that? This is what I'm talking about. The open air. Breathe it in, Scout. That's some good stuff. This reminds me. You should have these. Mickey says he doesn't want his. You can have mine, too. You don't need them anymore. Listen. I think we need to rethink your role in our organization. If Mickey doesn't mind. I'm going to run. need you to run point on some things. You would have a more involved role, if you know what I mean. I'll fill you in when we get to that boat. Go do your thing. You've earned it. We'll hang back. Oh, they got more ovals. Okay. Talk to Bruce and Mickey. Well. That's it? You're just gonna join and then buck off again. Alright. Oh, what do you have for me? An excellent salesperson always cares what the customer needs. So my well-off patron, what can I do for you? I would call myself that well-off right now. Uh, you also don't have anything that I need. So, nothing. You cannot do anything for me. <clears throat> for you. This is terrible. I don't even know how to go back. Go back where? Loosh. Oh, okay. There are drafts. That's good. I saw something behind them. Uh, it's just rock texture. All right. Hey, drink. <laughs> Zip line. Oh, you do go up there. Do I get anything there? 
No, you're not. You just go into the water. What's the purpose of that? Seems like a waste of time. There is nothing here, which is interesting. I've planned this guy's sightseeing trip for years, but after I set up camp, I realized my perfect behavior prevents me from looking left. What a dumb mistake. Tell me, does the geyser look as impressive as it sounds? Absolutely. Why did you tell me? Now I'm even madder I can't see it. Oh, fine then. get just waiting. Not high enough, it seems. Nope. Probably need to launch myself off the top of that. Oh, maybe not. I am getting a little bit higher each time. Probably that that did. There's trees there, which means there's a location. Really? That's it? I can bounce off of you. Okay. Another event. Pilgrimage is over. Oh, what an incredibly single-minded, persistent journey this must have been. You have finally reached the Holy Shrine of St. Dacius. Thousands of years ago, St. Dacius anointed a statue. It is foretold that one day, Dacius' chosen will be bestowed with his blessing. They will rescue all of us from the tyranny of this existence. Oh, but surely you already know that. Why else would you have come all this way? I'll leave you to your prayers. Blessings of St. Dacius upon you. Okay. Ah, I see. Dacius, I get it. Okay, I didn't pick up on that. Thank you, Sir Dacius. How do I dash? Left trigger. Holy shit! Okay. That's quite the potent dash. I dash up, I wonder. No, I cannot. Kind of. That was also limited on how often I can do it, which is good to know. quite make it. Yeah, that is a very violent forward dash. Oh. Oh, I see what I need to do. Hey, okay, way up there. I also gotta time this really well. Yep. There's really, really nothing up here. 
Okay, there's something. Or not. Yeah, but well, there went my cat. Sorry, cat. Rip daffodil. All that's up here? No. Oh, what are you? You want me to focus on it, whatever it is. Yo, Pilgrim. Wait, how did you get up here? Oh, no. You talked to that other idiot, have you not? I'm sure he filled your head with all his false idols nonsense. That one is dangerous, let me tell you. I bet he got you to make an offering to his phony shrine, didn't he? Well, open your eyes, sheeple. This is the real shrine of our holy Saint Dacius. See its grandeur. See its geometric perfection. Yes, yes, make an offering here and a real blessing awaits you. What do you think? Only two obols. No, I think I've already got what I want. What a shame. I really had faith in you. You sound like a swindler. I do have extra obols, though. The game is letting me do it. Hmm. All right. Oh, ye almighty Dacius, bless this girl with your most powerful blessing. Hmm. What? Well, that's awkward. Hmm. I swear, it never happened. All right, I'll give you this. Hmm. Just promise you won't tell anybody. Got my elbows back. Okay, that wasn't bad. Hmm. Please don't tell anyone. And that's the edge of the map. All right. Is there actually anything here besides just the shrine? Yeah, totally, totally legit. I got the dash ability, which is going to please my very domineering mentor. I guess that is it. Hmm. All right. Some of these areas in the game kind of feel like an afterthought. Like they said, hey, we need to do something to tie up the rest of this game. Okay, just slap this here and put a shrine at the top of it. Okay, yeah, there's a shrine there. There's nothing else to discover. That's actually really, really disappointing. Bad day game design, I would go as far as to say. Considering how much stuff I had to get through to get there. Uh, I don't really need anything else from Francis. Of course, I'm, I'm already at the end game, so I kind of get the impression that I've gotten ahead of things. Like I wasn't supposed to be uh, already at the end game. Like I should have already unlocked all of it and done all of this stuff before I got there. Uh, Hummingbird, Bottom Line Corp, and Oxberry. I did not speedrun it. I did the opposite of speedrunning it. There were three episodes where I didn't find an item that I was looking for. I was the anti-speedrunner. What is that called? Slow running? Long play. That's what it's called. Long play. Uh, talk to Bruce and Mickey, talk to Elena, and end the game. All the rest of these areas are in places I've already discovered, so... Good. You seem to be in top physical shape. Now the real challenge can start. Her faces. I've marked a few locations on your map. You need to find these challenges and conquer them. I will be watching you. Analyzing your every move. Go now. I will feed you, but I will not hug you, because that's forbidden. Plain food might not be exciting. Just gives you your daily nutrients. Well, she likes it, even though she's met about it. Request completed. Missing credentials. What? 
I didn't have a request for that. Okay. I apparently just completed a quest that I didn't even have. He's sleeping. Can I sleep? Can I talk to you? No? Oh, they're sleeping in. Okay, I need to wake them up, apparently. Which is weird. Walking speed. Wake up. Yeah, that's better. And where is my bird friend? He is chilling out here. Oh, that smell. My sincerest apologies for pestering you with such mundane requirements, Commander. But your humble servant feels the need for sustenance. I would gladly accept the smallest of scraps from your magnificent cooking skills. Anything, really. Oh, well, I'm sorry. How about some glue? Can I accept a generous officer? I've crossed paths with him. Lactergroth, the knob goblin, cursed me out of jealousy. Dreadful level 3 lactose intolerance. Yes, it's a conjuration ritual. I won't talk about what happens if I ingest the smallest dose of dairy. Good to know. Have some... Sustenance contains fruit, doesn't it? I'm sorry, Commander. I unfortunately cannot accept your generous donation. Fruits are sacred according to the holy scriptures of Doruman, which are, of which I am a pious follower. It's utterly forbidden to even think about someone eating one. You cannot ingest them by faith. Yes, by faith. Okay, I'm getting all of the hardest stuff from you. Thank you. I'll hug you, because I can hug you. Now, let's see where we are right now. Hi. Oh, you probably want to go, don't you? Because your house is completed. Like I was saying, you're going to need to step up in our organization. If this operation is ever going to survive, we need to pull a big one. A big score. I was planning this job with my brother for a while. He doesn't want to do it now. I need you to step in and help out. So listen, here's the take. I need you to stock up on carrots. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Carrots. I'm not talking about a few. I'm talking about a shitload of carrots. That's the thing we need for this job. If that doesn't make sense for you, that's too bad. You don't need to know everything. That's why I call the shots. Okay. Two out of 100. Well, it's a good thing I can buy those. I ain't growing them. What are you? Pulsar ore. Deadly pulsar rays. I don't think I have that yet. Pulsar. Maybe I do. Deadly, deadly pulsar. I need to pick my fruit. My mulberries will give me silk. What, again? What else do you want? Oh, is this the pulsar event? Yep. Let's do this. Are you ready for another challenge? They'll be coming from all directions. Steal your mind. Visualize their patterns. Use your dash and light burst abilities. And act! Holy crap! Oh, okay. This is fine. Unless I miss. Hey. Della, why are you no dash? There she goes. Dash when I don't want her to.
I hope there's not a requirement here, like, I have to catch so many to complete this stupid quest. Ah, I barely missed those. Getting faster, too. That was terrible. Uh, oh my gosh. Capture the gold dragon in under six minutes. Talk to Elena. Capture over one third of all severe lightning strikes. <sighs> Yuck. I hope. Better. I can see you're sweating a bit. Good. These challenges are supposed to be difficult. You've earned a carrot. Not a little carrot, but a reward. Here it is. It's in the form of a challenge, however. I have nothing more to say to you. Feedback over. Oh, treasure map. Well, I'll take it. I haven't found a gold dragon yet. Oh, well. Never mind. Where am I? I'm right there. Well, might as well head straight towards it. I always use more gold. I do this in under six minutes. Where is my prompt? Was I waiting for you this whole time? Taking your sweet ass time? task. This creature is in pain. We'll thrash and fight. It will be a decent challenge for you. As long as you don't forget to use your dash ability, go. I will be timing you, of course. I'm sure you will. Okay, never mind. Mess it up. I appreciate you zooming out that far when I'm trying to navigate.
Game, what are you doing? What is with this camera? There the end. Okay. I figured the game was going to be a little generous with the time. Feeling better, aren't we? He does seem satisfied. You did the task you were asked to do. Go! All eyes on you. Alright. Interesting. You're showing promise. What are you waiting for? Go on now, student. All right. Good morning. As a hero of, of... Damn, I should have read the script sooner. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, I'm taking a pause. And you should too. It's always good to browse through your character sheet and think of what you'll do next with your XP when you were between games. But don't worry, I'll soon be ready. What did you think of the beginning of Gordon Emlock's story arc? Pretty cool, eh? I've been taken as basis to Dungeons of Destruction, sprinkled a few elements from Masks of Emotep here and there, and added a single best magic item from the Royal Campaign. Ah, and I'll let you in on a little secret. Remember one-eyed Omgronthog from the Three Towers? Yeah, remember him? I've added him to the campaign. Converting his stats to the new edition was a pain in the butt, though. But I'm so excited! Alright, alright, I'll go back to my notes. Can't be ready soon enough. See ya! Nerd. Gosh. You like this? Yep. I'm gonna pretend that I did that on purpose because it looked really badass. Who am I looking for here? Buck's friend, Drone. Oh. Nope, not you. Ah, Buck is finally ready? About time! I spent all my pocket money on glittery dice! Oh. I'm more than ready. Yeah, 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 okay. Ahem. <clears throat> I am the mighty Emdaril of the... Oh, screw it. I'm Jerome, okay? I know I should be in character, but whatever. Come on, what's the riddle? Mmm, I see. This one's a doozy. I need to think about it. But I'm sure I'll figure out where to go. Thanks. 
All right. <laughs> That'd about be my attitude towards if somebody asked me to role play in character. It's like, nah. Cool. Bottom line corp in Oxbury, which is also right over here, if I'm not mistaken. Well, Oxbury's all the way down there. Bottom line corp is also all the way down there. Okay. We will not be doing that then. To the fast travel so I can get a severe thunderstorm. Yes? Commander, your humble servant needs to... Oh, ha, huh. oops. Yes, yeah, sorry. But it's fun, you know. I love being your humble servant and telling stories about crafting monsters and having a dungeon master screen. What I don't like, though, is that I'm the only one buying all the books. I'm usually preparing everything. But Bob, Brian, and Jerome are cool enough. I mean, yeah, they could for sure make an effort. Brian is chill, though. That being said, I always have to remind him of the rules for flanking. Well, me or Jerome, anyways. That guy, polar opposite, doesn't give a single frack about role-playing. He only wants to roll dice and find loopholes in the rules. Yeah, it pisses me off. But hey, at least Bob usually backs me up. Well, maybe Bob is in character a bit too much. But hey, who am I to judge? Alright. Oh, and we is here. Hi. To the lightning storm, which is about as close to both directions. I'll need to catch a third of them, and I'm pretty sure I can do that. He's been pretty generous with the... Hey, you guys need to hold your horses. He's been pretty generous with the quests, I've noticed. Alright, what do you want? Commander, I... Well, never mind. I have some snacks, Stella. Do you want some? Sure. Oh, a corn dog. I really wanted a corn dog at some point. I used to be a teacher. I still am. Back then I had a classroom. In the kind of school that made each student passed. That made sure each student passed. Okay. The kind of school that teaches that money can buy everything. And every September it was full of students ready to learn. Each year, however, they failed to impress me. Chatting amongst themselves, passing glances around, closing their ears and their minds to my lessons. Immature little shits. All of them. Dang, lady. I can see you love your job. Give cheese. Alright, I'm not gonna put the rest of my yogurt in there because I actually want to save that. My flour actually finished grinding? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest of that grain for my cow. Student! Another challenge. This is an easy one. A little bit of rain and thunder. I won't say this often. Your survival probability is rather high. Just don't let your guard down. You won't end up like a grilled chicken. Remember, use your dash ability in there. You'll need to move really fast. Heads up, thunder is here. I need to get upstairs really fast. Okay, let's do this. No, get off the zip line. Heck. Game, you can't do this like me if you're going to scatter them halfway across the boat. I get what she said about the dash ability, but that's ridiculous. I need to grab one out of three. Two? Really? I don't think I did it. Oh, I gotta talk to her. 
Not bad. I wouldn't put it on a leaderboard or you on a podium, but you've got some talent. This should be a good reward for you. Alright, I guess I did it. I don't have anything else. Scram. How did you become a teacher? And there's my treasure. I must have been right next to it. Money! That wasn't worth it. Thirty four, sixty nine. I'll just go straight to it. ring. That is very specific. Good haul, student. You made good on your promise to find those valuables. I know these bring back memories. Your ring from a past marriage. Oh, shit. These coins from your brother, you say. You need to stop thinking of such things. Your past will always bring you shame. Your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need to do some I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one of these valuables. Take your time to decide. Then you can give it to me. Once a symbol of promise, now it's just lost. Rusted in rare coin collection, it must be valuable, but who knows? I'll give me the coin collection. It must have been hard. Such is life. You live. You lose. Are you expecting something in return? I will let you have some time for yourself now, student. Eh, that's kind of what I expected to happen. He's been kind of a bitch this entire time. I think the... You had carrot seeds. Yes, you did. Yeah, you know, I'll just buy them all. They're not that expensive. Where are you? Run seed sampler pack. Uh, I'm not spending 12 grand on those, thank you very much. Sixty thousand for orchard seeds. Yuck. Drink from the necks of my enemies. Think I found my friend. Probably champagne tastes like equity. Oh nope, that's just something a random person says. All right, I'm not at all unsettled by that. Thought that was my D and D partner. Hooray! All right, let's see if this theory holds. Nope. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, it was a nice thought. I was wrong. I've already got all this. sent you finally oh whoops sorry i mean glad to finally make your acquaintance commander i am indeed wondrick the bard it was i who composed the ode to flabbergon the drunk i who solemnly performed at the court of queen fluthians for her wedding 
And I'll be the chronicler of the Silver Company once again. Pretty good, eh? Ha, I love this character. Yes, you can count on me. I will meet you all at the Naked Bull Bear Inn as planned. And in the meantime, I'll scour the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Wall Wallable in search of very precise information. I also need to tell my mom. Okay, gotta run. See ya! Right. Did you make those words any harder to pronounce? Alright, let's plant some junk. What do you want? Student, I have another teaching for you. And you're tough enough to not be broken. I need you to take me to the Everdor. With pleasure. You are equipped to do so now. We don't need to say more until we get there. Peace. Quiet. That is good practice. It starts now. Okay, bye. Uh, I cannot plant carrots there. No! Oh. Can I unplant you? Heck. Alright. Well, I'll just sing to them to make them grow faster, I guess. Probably do that while I'm traveling to Oxbury. Once I want to get her the hell out of my boat, I want to go there first. Good morning. Oh, we got some background. Mickey wouldn't get wa done up by anyone. He was untouchable. Nobody could get him. One night he just got in his car. He probably had a few too many. He drove that car over the overpass. Straight into the lake. He didn't wake up. Winded up in the hospital for six months. Not moving. Still felt like him. Silent but dangerous. Could still see the rage in his face. He didn't want to be in that bed. At least not that long. Hmm. Okay, I gotta find this guy's friend. Oh. See you. Oh. Hello, friend. Are you inside? Is that you I need to talk to? I've been tired all my life. I don't ever want to leave this house. Boy, is that ever a fucking mood. Lemons, man. No, I want to talk to you. Nope. Small child. Nope. Have you seen this man? Oh, gosh. I forgot the picture at home. Let me describe him to you. He has hair. He's got a round face. His eyes are green. No, wait. Brown, maybe. I'm not sure about his eyes. I would have told you to call me if you found him. But without his picture, it's near impossible. I won't find my brother anytime soon with that attitude. Sorry for the bother. Dang, dude, you suck at this. Oh, you're inside. Well, you're probably not the person I need to talk to then. Yeah, you're the cafe owner. I already did my thing for you. Nope. Uh, I don't need more carrots, I'm pretty sure. This is the first time something like this has ever happened to me. All right. Nope. Leave us alone. We'll be getting busy soon. Oh, my. Can I watch? Well, well. Ahem. Oh, here we go. Ha! Finally! No, I won't bow before you. I know who you are, and although I respect your reputation, I am El Perrin, Ranger of the Seventh Moon. And Rangers of the Seventh Moon bow to no one. As the leader of the Glorious Silver Company, I will uphold once again the Crusader's mantle. Some preparations need to be made. And then, yes, I will ride my noble steed and regroup with you all. Go, reunite the Fellowship. For the time has come, and adventure cometh once more. Uh-oh, my voice is cracking. Water time. <clears throat> Alright, back to the boat. I'm gonna cut down your trees. It's okay, this one's gonna and it's got diseases.
We zoom. Dang, that makes me go really fast. I need to do that more. All done. Cool. All right, better get a bunch of carrots out of that. I got three. Fantastic. So I'm gonna get maximum of nine per harvest. You don't have to do this at least 12 times. Balls. Who am I even doing this for? Wait, was that side thing? Huh. I know I had a mission to get 100 carrots. Was that just a joke? Watering them more makes them grow faster, right? That's how it works with plants. Hi. What is this? Oh, come on. The job wasn't for carrots. It was for carrots, you jackass. It was for peaches. Who wants stupid carrots? Like, I would use carrots for this job. That's stupid. You've got to fix this mistake. Quickly. The job depends on peaches. Lots of them. Go now. I have peaches. I hate you so much right now. Yep, wanna to talk to me again. They're gonna tell me it's wrong still. Uh, no, burp. Ender, this is utterly fantastic. Silver Company has answered the call once again. We will soon traipse once more upon the Elysian Fields of Adventure. Maybe the eleven, may the eleven stars bless your heart, Commander. You truly have been an indomitable herald of bravery. Now our next step will lead us to a shifty tavern. The naked Mulberry Inn nested on the frozen mists in the white hamlet of Nordweiler. But before our appearance at the mysterious premises, there is a little something we should accomplish, Commander. I certainly am entertaining the concept of sustenance. Hello. Yeah, we cannot come empty-handed. That would be, wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, look. We should bring munchies, otherwise everyone will be miserable. Doritos and pizza rolls, got it. Let's say some popcorn? A corn dog would be nice, too. Oh, and yeah, for dessert, toffee. I have all of those things. That should do it. All right, where was I already? Oh yeah, the undertaking might be very, might very well be below your level, Commander, but it shall be a well-earned respect, respite in our quest for justice and glory. Hello. Onward. Still looks so bored when she's talking to him. Where, where did she go? She told me to stop, and then, all right, whatever. All right, what are you guys gonna yell at me for this time? Scout. What's your problem? You ruined this whole operation. Buy is very specific about his cargo. What am I gonna do with carrots and peaches? You're the worst partner I ever had. Can't even get a simple order straight. My brother would never mess up like this. I don't think this is gonna work out. Let's go. You aren't ready to step up. I shouldn't have trusted you. Ah, shit. Listen, let's go. I know a place. It's called the Everdoor, right? It's called the Everdoor. Ah! Good, fuck you. I'm mad at you now. We should go now. All right, well, that's everyone. Except for Buck. Give five popcorn, a corn dog, and a toffee. I think I have all of those. Yes. What? Should I go in the kitchen myself? Feed me. I don't like you. I don't want to feed you. Here, have this grain salad. I'm not going to hug you. Give. Uh, where's my food? Cooked food. All right, I need. I need many more popcorn. I think I have toffee. Pretty sure I made a bunch of it by accident. Do 
I? I might as well give him the corn dog. Drum and I don't always agree, but our friendship has been cemented by a mutual love of corn dogs. All right, hey, come back here. There it is. That toffee is perfect. Wow, it looks so yummy. Bob will be delighted. Wonderful job. Yay, Stella, you've got everything. Oh, damn, sorry. Hmm, hmm. By the Lords of Wyaron, our Fellowship Larder has now been filled to the brim with delectable victuals. Commander victory won't have been simply earned on the battlefield, but in the kitchen, too. Now, let's soar swiftly and sprucely to the modest hamlet of Nordweiler. The Silver Company is bursting with impatience. The naked Mulberrian's wall will forever see in their stones imprinted the memories of our congregation. Give the order, Commander. Fate awaits. You say so. I didn't even give him all the ingredients. He wanted like five of something and I gave him one. Oh. Apparently the game wouldn't let me dash right there. You're on a tavern. Oh, it's up there. Commander! Sometimes grand events happen in the simplest of places. The air is damp with meat fumes, the atmosphere is tense, and the onlookers gaze at your appearance. The naked mole baron is a shabby parlor indeed. Its inconspicuousness is its best quality. A lot of people have lost eyes here. You can smell the bloodshed in the air. The perfect rendezvous for the Silver Company. And indeed, our reunited Avengers each come forth with a piece of an intricate scenario. Wondrick, the bard, in his research found an ancient tome of the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Wallable. In it, words of a very wise and ancient being, an oracle, has been mentioned by the sages of Wairan. Elper and the noble ranger met with the witch's conclave of Semdara. The witches talked about the leaves of an elder tree, and through their forbidden ritual of Almazar, awakened the tree and its from its ageless lover. Wah. And finally, Emderil, riding his white steed, Emderil, Emderil did nothing but argue on the internet over the merits of the Poison Cloud spellcast at level 2. <laughs> Good job, Jerome, once again. <laughs> oh, this is so great. Commander of the Silver Company might have unearthed where our next step will be. Roll a knowledge skill. 18. Success. You can't shake the idea that the Oracle is indeed hidden in Furugawa. This can be the only possible solution. Determined, you believe it's time to set sail. Towards Furugawa, to the Oracle. Can I go up here? Oh, there's nothing up there. I already cleared it. There's gonna be another quest where I'm just gonna be zipping around from place to place just to advance the quest line. Commander! The Oracle is a being of immense wisdom. Only the Chosen One will be deemed worthy. You will have to face the Oracle alone. I know who the Oracle is. He is as old as time, watching all of us mortals. You can find him in Furugawa. Find the Oracle. There's a very interesting combination of role-playing fantasy storytelling happening here that's interweaving with the actual story of the game. the oracle oh. oh wow i feel amazing warning sacred dog feels so brazing oh you're rapping okay talking about dice boys i live a simple life i won't forget this torture you're putting me through i'm so happy that my brother made it all right i'm fed up with these stupid puzzles there is no rule to make Oh, okay. My awesome stats are useless. Oh, I thought that was the person I needed to talk to. I should get back to it. 
Rice pass needs pot. Constant nurturing. It's a full-time job. I'd rather eat mangoes and watch the sunset. You and me both. I go for mango right now. I already got you. All right. Thank you again for your time. Yes, thank you, tour master. Hey, where are you? I am the Oracle. I see visions of deception and hardship ahead. I see loss, sorrow, and pain. I see hope, love, and joy. I'm talking to a rock right now. You will return to the world with a token of passage, a piece of soul already paid, an item of immense value, an oval. But Spiritfarer, this is not what you came here for. You came here seeking answers. You will find these answers in those simple numbers. Negative 185, negative 92. Those symbols will show you the way. The receptacle of light awaits. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. So we just abruptly jump from silly fantasy roleplay into actual lore happening. I suppose I also wasn't talking to the rock. I was probably talking to the tree that the rock placard was featuring. Oh, hi. Amazing! Commander! This day will forever be inscribed in archives of yore, forever sung by the balladeers of the Seven Corners. The Oracle has awakened! He talked to you! His puzzle might be cryptic, but you will no doubt find the solution. Of this, I'm sure. Roll? Oh, well. Nah, I think you can figure this one out on your own. Good luck! Okay, good. It actually marked that for me. I get the impression that as quickly as I've been running through the other characters, that once I finish this quest, I'm probably going to send Buck on his way as well. So I'm going to have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back character dismissions and then endgame. Have some cheese fondue. That's one ingredient. He's not going to like that. I have standards, too. And I don't appreciate being talked to like that, so fuck you. And if I did make the mistake, you're still a jerk. Here, you can have the cheese fondue. Since Mickey was a jerk about it. Did they still eat it? Oh, it's there at the top. You cannot have that. Oh, lactose, right. I should have known. Yes, 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 yes. Something different. How about... That's got cheese in it. Nope. That's got milk in it. That's got cheese in it. Veggie pot pie. I salute your insight. You absolutely guessed that my heart would be brimming with joy at the sight of a good old-fashioned meal. An ancestral delight of epic resonance. Many thanks. May the lords of Waharan accompany you in your path. Whoops, sorry I spit on you a bit. <laughs> okay, I found his other like, I guess. See, I didn't want to jump on the stereotypical nerd spit voice because it's like, no, I don't like that. Lena, there you are. I, I have one memory I particularly cherish. It was one day after a particularly rowdy gym class. They came back to my room, fuming with hormones and desperation. On one of my first years on the job. Shaping the minds of the youth, they told me. Anyway, I couldn't control any of them. They wouldn't keep still for a second. I wasn't shaping anything that day. I snapped. started screaming. Wasn't the only thing those monsters could understand. Was the only thing. I told them truths so that it would only reveal themselves later in their lives. When you lose a parent. When you lose your best friend. When you lose your job. When you start to really crumble from the inside. After an episode like that, I should have learned a lesson. I didn't. I'm about to focus on talent and excellence. I'm about to never let go again and steal my resolve. What are we doing? Oh, we're discovering a new location. Uh, it was horrible timing. I found the hidden shrine, which is going to give me my last 
my last something. I don't know what it is. I got a buttload of bubbles right now. Thanks for interrupting my conversation, though. I was actually enjoying that story. Uh, have some discs. No, oh, thank you. I'm not accustomed to this fine dining. I need something simple. Oh, interesting. I do not like fine dining food. Oh, she has three dislikes. You're stingy. Get Karen. Yes. Stella, 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 Stella! Guess what? They finally corrected the second module of the weapon manual. They added the critical roles and finesse weapons and clarified the rules of engagement. Right when I was about to call it quits on War and Worms. You know, I was legit worried that it would go down after the 2.5 edition path. Yes, I know, I'm not mincing words. Remember how they modified the spellcasting system? Ha, ah, as if W&W &W was a kid's game such as Sorcery the Reunion. Man, even after all these years, I'm still so mad about it. Oh my gosh. I hate that I understand so many of these references. What have I done with my life? Uh Okay, what's here besides the shrine? Probably nothing. Oh, hi, there's people here. The Oracle's words were true. Commander, these dark words conceal a shrine of immense power. Old ancient shrines have a will of their own. Imbued with the divine power of Haltran the Wise, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Rimalda. The shrine is covered in holy scriptures. Only you, the Chosen One, can resonate with its magic. Only you, the Star Child, can wield the Glaive of Divine Justice. Go, Commander! Cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. May your actions enlighten our path. Now I'm curious, because I'm doing all this after the game already presented me with the option to take Stella to the Everdor, if there's a bad ending in this game. I still have extra obols. And I acquire... Nothing. Oh, okay. Right, we just ever light in all directions. Okay, I sparkle. Magical! Blessed be the eleven stars. You definitely are the chosen one. Lightbearer, the sunbringer. She who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. That power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice forest glaive of Vefeldor, the first. Verse of the Dalars. Dalars. Alas, this party must split up now. The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it's time for its members to ride back to their homesteads. Also, these guys are past their curfews and need to get back home. Let's trek back to the Galleon, where I shall describe their, our next task in great lore-dumping details. Also, I need to look again at my notes. He said the L word. I know what I need to do with that. There's lighthouses that I need to illuminate. Commander! So this is definitely lending itself to... several endings. Would you hold still so I can talk to you? Pick a spot and land, man. Commander, I must sadly bequeath you with the grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguished light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the prime evil, evil powers of the Lich God Nor Glem Lich God Gor Nemloth by ourselves. We must rally to our cause the free people of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. Oh wow, that's not a ripoff of it at all. We will trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. Please stop doing that. Why did they decide that that was a good idea? Uh, uh, uh. The fires of Tondor might be known to you already. 
Crate of the Light itself, the Tower of Radiance where you met me, your humble narrator. Then the most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nestled at the heart of the Galway's sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the eternal ice spire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you have to know that all our roads will be all but safe. I must warn you of the great danger posed by the orcs of the Shadow Seal Clan. Their master, the war chief Omgrathog, one eye, is Gornemlos vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us at the faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative. One, fumble. You are completely taken by surprise. The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow ugly roars. The Shadow Steel Clan will devour your innards, shouts Gromgotha, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself, and commander. Some of these foes will be protected by Gorn Nemloth's nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin. What? Am I actually doing a thing? I am. Whoosh. I got an XP potion. Neat. I need those for something. Oh, I missed one. Hi. Very bizarre event. Did I win? Fantastic! Crawling through the debris, wounded and vanquished, Gambalatha extirpates himself from the field. I will be back stronger and crueler. In a shriek, the routed orc vanquishes, vanishes from the remnants. That was astounding, Commander. Your fighting aptitude is exceptional, but there is not a minute to waste. Cowering deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are regrouping and planning their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor! This is so bizarre. Ah, you have, is, is today my lucky day? I've got a favor to ask. Yes, yes, me, a favor. How odd it must be for you. Nobody must ask you for favors on this giant boat of yours. Listen, as a wandering merchant, I always look for the next customer. I can't really do simple things in life. I always need to be ready. Now, I have an important errand for you. I need... I need you to get my groceries. I know, I know. I just can't live off fish and seagulls for eternity. Go have a look. My grocery list may seem strange to you. I assure you it's very common from where I'm from. Heck! It's about flesh wounds. <laughs> oh man, I've never noticed those names before. Holy cow, he's got so many. Do I actually have a... Okay, that's not actually a quest, that's just a... Alright. Was that it? Yep. He gives me a treasure map for that, but I don't have like from sheets and I don't really feel inclined to make them. I'm also not going to waste my diamonds on that, because I'm pretty sure I need them for something. It's a lot of glims, though. I can give him that. And that. Uh, sure. Give him that. Coming up for that. And give him that. Okay, that's cool. Alright, for all the money, that was a ton. 
Wait, I do have things I can sell you? I didn't even check. I probably do. Oh, I have one thing. Okay, well, balls. Plenty of gems. Alright, thanks for making me loaded, dude. I don't know who that was talking, but I don't appreciate that they're hiding in my room. Yes? Student, I never really felt useful teaching the gifted ones. Nor did I take pleasure in breaking the spirits of the weak ones. Seeing them just struggle... Not knowing why these challenges were forced upon them. They didn't... They did this to themselves. They had to be there in class. They had one task, to listen. They were barely able to do that. And they loved every second of it. Because through hardship they would learn. Learn how to survive. Learn how to be better. Learn how to stop being burdens and become leaders. Oh, f f uh, I've got some strong words for you, lady. That just passed my... I did. Oh, dang it. I lost it now, because I just went straight through it. Oh, well. Oops. No, I want to go this way. Hmm. Is not the way to do that, apparently. Oh. Hey, that's rude. Give me that. Even though I don't need it. One lighthouse. Fires of Tondor. Okay, next. Yes. Wonderful. You did it, Commander. The first fire has been lit and you can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worth is grander than the mightiest arm of Roxador, the Paladin. The moonbirds of Wairan will soon sing your praises in all the language of Rimalda. But, Commander, as bright our moment of joy can shine, we have to remain vigilant. Kamgata and his lackeys will probably be alerted by the sight of this glorious fire. And, lurking in the branches, roll initiative. Fifteen. Great. Amidst the squalor of the exotic foliage, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment. Getting closer. Springing from their retreat, they jump on you. Fight! Ah, oh, we're doing this shit again.
Victory! The dust from what was an epic battle barely settles. Layers upon layers of evil carcasses littered the ground at the battlefield. You are exhausted, but once again victorious. Make a perception check. 14. Success. As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only wonder where Gongada lies. He is nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a follower of Gornemloth, after all, and his cowardice is notable. Quick, let's ride post-haste. The next fire awaits. Onward! If only I had this ability that would let me jump to higher places. That is number two. Fire Condor's lit clamors of exultation spread throughout the vast expanses of the kingdom. The chosen one has arrived. She who bears the light will help us all. Glory to the commander. Glory to Halor. Your heart lifted by such grandiose acclamation, your soul irradiates with serenity. But your mind remains watchful and perceptive. You know that stirred by an upheaval that marks their near device, the orcs of the Shadow Steel clan must be closing on your position. And, lo and behold, roll initiative. 20. Critical. Ah. Without a moment of hesitation, you jump into the fray. Taken by surprise, the approaching phalanx of orc fighters, you ready yourself to mow through them with deftness and style. Fight! Okay. Cool. stand a chance. What remains of their shattered shark armors is promptly blown away by the swift northern wind. Commander, you are victorious once again. And this time, Gungata couldn't oppose your strength and was heroically slain. The orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan shall henceforth dread your might, Commander. Cunning they will prove to even attempt to find you. But let's not dawdle a second more. Your goal is within your grasp, Commander. Let's set, it against, let's set sail again on to the ultimate fire of Tondor. Hang out with the one I want to talk to. I want to talk to you first to feed you. It wasn't a cakewalk for the gifted ones either. They had their own challenges. They were just open to the test. They were rewarded handsomely for their dedication. The weak ones, as much as the gifted ones, had a monster to tame. That monster was me. I am the enemy they would remember. I am the dragon they would have to slay. With hard work and complete dedication, or they could whine and quit. And be, cut and be out of my sight forever. Can you be out of my sight forever? No, thank you. Oh, that's right. No fine dining. Well then, have some plain fish. 
Yep, and everyone's asleep, sure enough. Oh, I could have just done it right there. Didn't need to overcomplicate it. And that's the last one. Blime! A blast! The world erupts in elation! All the fires have been lit! Tondor has arisen! The Lich God Gornemloth is on the verge of being defeated once more! But, what is it? What is this terrible ruckus you hear? A thousand warhorns roar at once. Could it be? Faithfully, yes. The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan. Led by one eye, Omgroth. Omgroth's. Oh, whatever. Himself. Clad in the Eldritch Armor of Rongmar, Omgrothog points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot! I will destroy you in the hopes of this world. Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check. 18. Success. The orc won't scare you, for you are the light bearer. The chosen one. Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of. Fight. I hit him twice. Here. Oh, we are on your house. Okay. Unimaginable! Through the thick mist of the aftermath, a silhouette is barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. All three people of this world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. Deafening silence creeps in an atmosphere thick as rock. Victory! The Chosen One has triumphed! She who bears the light has conquered! In a crackling sound of terror, Gornemloth's shadow stops immediately its course over the darkened sky. The Lich God is no more. May the radiant fate bless our souls. May Halor forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imalda sing our praises for eons to come. The world is saved. And now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope, her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she rests her heavy shoulders, unload her burden, and once more gaze at the stars. Ah, oh, damn, I'm tired. Congrats! You did it, Stella. Okay, if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. Space opera with lasers and spaceships. That sounds amazing. Post-apocalyptic road war setting. Or horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe. We'll see. All right. Whatever you say, buddy. Hey. Well, I'm impressed. Your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells could be a bit optimized for sure. But your roleplay is fracking A. Even Bob was impressed. And, yeah, we've never had a girl at the table before. We're happy you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try to finish the campaign to the best of my ability. 
More NPCs. More background elements. More magic items. Yes. Where'd you go? To the lounge. Commander! I mean, Stella! I... 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 Well... I can't believe the campaign is over. I mean, yeah, I'm thrilled, but... I don't know. I feel empty now. Ah! You know what? I'll prepare a little something else for you. Something simpler, maybe, just to take a breather. You'll see. Alright. Start unloading some of these passengers from my ship. Oh, you're gonna go first? Okay. Alright, Scout. We need to talk. I've been... You know how I've been. Wanna go somewhere? Alright. Yes. You can fly. Can you at least do it quickly? Ah, that's a big fat N-O. I almost forgot. Listen. Let's just get on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. Please don't chop on my head. Okay. Close enough. I didn't plan this life for me and my brother. They used to call me the talker. I could talk your ear off. You have been. I would never shut up. However, right now, I don't want to talk. I just be like my brother and take a moment. Pause and listen. Yeah. You think for a change. That chance. At my age, nothing's possible. Nobody changes. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying. I'm trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is true to myself. That might make me an asshole in the end. That might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of this shit matters. None of it. Do you know why we're here? Because I have a small imagination. I can't see beyond my back streets, my town, my friends, my family. More importantly, I can't see life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Funny thing is, he went a long time ago. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. I was holding on to something from the past. A reputation. My house. My car. Whatever it was. It was nice while it lasted. It just doesn't change anything. Anyway, you slice it, we're still Marie's kids from South Broad. Nothing's ever gonna change. Not even in the end. Alright, Mickey. Deep breaths. Let's go see what everyone's been raping about. I said you postcard, kid.
Oh, okay, so it just left me at the other door so that I can take her next. That's good. I don't have to be traveling back and forth. Stella. We are here. I know I've been working you hard lately. I hope you do understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline in their lives. For someone who takes others to the afterlife, you're holding on surprisingly well. I do have one last request for you. It won't be an easy one considering what we've been talking about. Will you make the journey with me? Thank you. It's not going to make me like you anymore. Get lost? Well, there's a lot of boats to climb down. Damn, lady. One last thing. So, you were my first student in this place. I don't think you deserve a passing grade. I'll up yours, too. I won't hold it against myself. And neither should you. A lesson you should learn from this. Life is hard. You should not be hard to it. People have the ability to change. You have the ability to change. In shape how you want to be. I know that it's sometimes a tradition. The passing of a legacy. A token at the end. An heirloom. Something for you to remember my time here. I do not wish to give you one. However, I have prepared something greater. Tasks and requests from the great beyond. That you will receive. A useless object will not make you think of me, but lessons will. Hopefully this will all be over soon. Let me think of something. Okay. I'll just say it. I just want to say, truly, from teacher to student, I am proud. You did good work. This is taking longer. That's interesting. No, I still have one character left. This isn't going to be the end game. I've been thinking. When we get there, maybe, just maybe. We can hug. We'll see how I feel. This is the only time I will let you. Come on. Doggo hugs.
Achievement, Spirit Fared. Yep, I will get her Spirit Flower first and then I will go to sleep. Huh. Hi. Summer. sleeping. That means Giovanni. When? Come. I don't remember your name. <laughs> uh, an asteroid. Cool. Alice. God, what was his name? I feel horrible now. Okay, well let's go to sleep. See if the bird has anything to say to me. That is interesting because this is this is suggesting that I've done all the work that I can do. Still at the Everett door, though. Um, hum, hum. Can I do anything with you? I need to wake him up first. You're flying. You are. You don't want to talk. Okay. Go check something before I proceed. Nothing left to do. Because right now I don't want to waste my time running around for an hour to find out that I don't have anything left to do, so.
seas of time, memories that were left behind, bring us closer to the end of this journey, where we grew as friends. Take me through the mist and storms, in waters that are still Steps one takes to move on to a place, a world on sea to us all, but it's okay, we'll be together. Well, I don't know what else I can add to that. What a fantastic game. Even if you've watched this whole th playthrough through start to finish, experience it for yourself. Even if you're watching it through someone else's eyes, play this game. Thunder Lotus absolutely deserves your support for this outstanding piece of work. Everything about this game, the writing, the characters, some places were a little bit weaker, some places were definitely stronger, but I would say it worked out. Uh, the quest towards the end with Buck, I don't know. I don't know if that really felt that it fit the story much. I mean, I understand why they did it, because they're sort of tying the overarching story together with Stella, but I don't know. Maybe they could have done it a little bit differently. Maybe it could have just used some polish, but I could take it or leave it. I One thing I definitely didn't really care for was the way that they excuse me. I'll get back to that. I just got another quest, apparently. Um, the way that they presented some of the characters towards you, I think they could have mixed the characters together a little bit better. Because at the very beginning, you have all of these characters that you get wonderfully attached to and emotionally invested in. And then suddenly you just get this slew of assholes at the end that just treat you like garbage and walk all over you and just run you into the ground. And it's like such a night and day difference. And so I think they could have uh, presented it throughout the story a little bit differently, but... Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. There were a couple little hiccups here and there with the way that the game presented information to you. Um, 
in all fairness, some of the places that I did get hung up at were my own fault. They were just me overlooking things. Um, it's become a running joke in my playthroughs, if you watch my playthroughs on videos, where I've pointed out all of the places. For example, where I missed uh, seeing a tools chicken in the stores, or places where I missed opportunities to get silk where I was looking directly at the mulberries in my inventory and didn't see that those are what I needed to get silk. And so I think some of the pacing was my own fault. Uh, in, in Lotus's defense, I think that was some of the issues that I was running into was that I was just scrambling things and doing things out of order. And so I can't fault the story completely. Other than that, though, that's all I really have at this time very emotionally investing, very intense story, but all worth it in the end. It's a very powerful message that I think a lot of people should take into consideration. Uh, as to what I will do next going forward, uh, I'm going to have to decide what game I want to play next as my main title, and so I'm going to have to give that some thought. Uh, definitely, I don't think that anything's going to one-up Spirit Fair. I would love to give Hades a try. I've pretty much seen the whole story of watching several different people stream it, but obviously I've still missed bits and pieces here and there, and obviously I'm going to have to experience it for myself to really get the full experience out of it. Um, and obviously I still have to buy it. Uh, other than that, though, I think I'm going to call it a night here. I could definitely use some R&R, &R, a little bit of time to sort of recuperate and process all of this, because this game does deal you quite a blow at the end. So... Hope you all enjoyed playing this game as much as I did. Really happy that you joined me on this playthrough. Hope you have a great evening and good night.